Hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of Bells and Whistles. Hello, this is Bill Wilson, Editor-in-Chief of RTNS Magazine, and this is Bells and Whistles, a look at the top news stories that we were following the week ending September 6th. According to a report issued by Moody's, Freight railroad companies in North America are looking at $5 billion in lost revenues over the next few years as consumers turn more towards cheaper forms of power like natural gas and solar and steer away from coal. Moody's says coal will generate 10% less power in 2030 compared to 2020 when the cut will be 20%. A Norfolk Southern Railway train derailment at Pittsburgh Station Square last year could have been prevented. According to a Federal Railroad Administration report, a broken rail was discovered weeks before the accident. In an 11-page report, the FRA concluded that Sperry Rail Service failed to investigate further after an ultrasound inspection revealed a detailed fracture on July 16, 2018. The rail passed a visual inspection on August 3rd, but the Norfolk Southern train derailed two days later. The debate between railroad management and agreement employees continued, with the Nevada State AFL-CIO adopting a resolution that requests federal action on the question of train crew size. The labor organization says the most effective way to maintain railroad safety is to adopt the new technology coming on the scene but also ensuring that freight trains have appropriate crews. And Union Pacific took a step back from a fine system that would charge truck carriers that were late picking up or dropping off at intermodal ramps. It was set to go in effect this week, but Union Pacific canceled the move after negative feedback from carriers and logistics providers. Just a reminder, the September issue of RTNS is now live on our website www.rtns.com. There you can read stories on the shrinking job market in the railroad industry, construction of Brightline system in Florida, and IBAR inspection on steel truss bridges, and many more features. Again, you can check out the latest news at our website, www.rtns.com, and you can check us out on social media where you're on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. That's it for now. Have a great weekend, everyone.